This is Twit. Google plans to invest heavily in a secretive company called Magic Leap. The company makes both hardware and software that work together to create a photorealistic user interface the company calls cinematic reality. According to an exclusive by Recode, Google is leading what could be a $500 million round of funding. Sebastian Anthony writes for Extreme Tech and PC Mag, and he joins us now. Welcome to you, Sebastian. Hi, Mike. Now, what do we know about Magic Leap's forthcoming products and the technology behind them? We know very, very little. Um, we don't know if they're at the point where it has been productized. Um, the investment would suggest that they're getting pretty close to a product. Um, but it should be pointed out that this there are similar, NVIDIA has tried similar technologies. Um, but not, it's been around for a few years, but nothing has really bubbled to the surface. But this investment would suggest that there is a product coming at some point. But we, yeah, we don't know when, but hopefully soon. So, so, Sebastian, in terms of what Google is calling this or what the company is calling this, we're hearing the term cinematic reality. Is this just augmented reality or virtual reality uh, warmed up for us, warmed over? Uh, yeah, it, it looks, from what we've seen, it looks identical to augmented reality. Um, if you read some of the few interviews that the CEO has given, um, he uses all sorts of hyperbolic phrases about how this is much superior to everything that has come before. So that's why they've coined a new term called cinematic reality. But it does just seem to be a new approach to doing augmented reality. Um, but it doesn't, yeah, it has cinematic quality, but it's augmented reality from what we can tell. Yeah, as far as I can tell, people come out of demos, the few people who have been given demos, First of all, they're completely blown away. And second of all, it seems like what they are able to do is two things that are really interesting. One is very high resolution uh, augmented reality imagery. And the second is that they're able to place it very precisely. And, um, and so that, th that combination could be very, very powerful. And one can imagine uh, some sort of uh, headset that is somewhere between Oculus Rift and Google Glass, where you can, of course, see uh, have a natural view of, of the actual reality with something superimposed on it. And we've seen all kinds of demos and kind of uh, images that have been shown to, to illustrate this concept. So it looks like it could be very, very cool. Now, what are the benefits for Google in this invest investment? Would they get like first dibs on the technology? Would they have access to the plans? I mean, why would they invest in this like this? It would seem, I mean, similar to Facebook investing in Oculus Rift or buying in that case. Um, it's still not entirely clear where these investments are going. Um, I think it's because I think we had someone comment on the site today that, you know, virtual reality is the same as last year's 3D printing. You know, it's kind of it's in vogue at the moment. Um, it's clearly after 30 or 40 years of clunky headsets that it might finally happen in the next couple of years. Um, but we still don't know what it will result in. Um, but companies like Facebook and Google um, they rely on eyeballs. They rely on people actually looking and using at their services. Um, if there is suddenly the shift towards virtual reality and away from web browsers and smartphones, then these companies need to be ready. What Google intends to do with augmented reality is hard to guess. Um, Google Glass is also augmented reality. It's nowhere near cinematic reality, um, but it's the same kind of idea in that, you know, if at the moment you, at the moment you only look at Google on your smartphone, but with augmented reality, you could be looking at Google everywhere you walk, when you're sitting down, when you're talking to your friends. You could be looking at Google all the time, um, which is obviously a great idea for Google with sales advertising, and they want your eyeballs all the time. But I, yeah, I mean, the next few years, I think, will be very interesting um, to see where Facebook and Google goes. Um, but it's a guess right now. Yeah. Hey, Sebastian, building on that that point of sort of the, the Google versus Facebook here, can you refresh our memory? Let, let's start with Facebook, with, with the uh, Oculus deal. So they made that deal earlier this year, uh, a multi-billion, I think it was a $2 billion buyout of Oculus. How far along is that headset and that technology? Is it for gaming? What, how would you describe what it's for today? And then compare and contrast that any clues you may have in terms of how far along Magic Leap may be with its technology and now this Google investment. Sure. Um, so Oculus Rift is on schedule, I believe, for 2015. Um, that's irrespective of the Facebook acquisition. Um, Facebook has said they're not going to interfere with those plans. So we will still see, I think, an Oculus Rift headset in 2015. Um, what we'll see after that, um, I don't think anyone knows. I'm not sure if Facebook knows. 
I think Facebook is interested in Oculus Rift because it is possibly the next big thing. It might be the next big interface, the big, the next big way to get customers and eyeballs. Um, Magic Leap, I'm sure, is uh, I would guess a year or two behind Oculus Rift. Um, we don't even know what form Magic Leap is. The one New York Times uh, first look said it wasn't even the size of. Um, it wasn't small enough to wear on your head. It was a small. It was a large device. Um, so I think Magic Leap is still a few years away. Um, but again, what Google plans to do with it, I I don't know. I don't think anyone knows at this point. And that article you're referring to was by John Markoff, and that was in yeah. July. Uh, and that was a great article if you're curious about this company. Now, uh, this sounds like, you know, a, a kind of a company that we're not familiar with. We're not familiar with the technology, really. And yet they have more than 100 employees. They're based in Florida. They're getting well-funded. They already uh, did a $50 million round earlier this year. So it sounds like the the tiny number of people who are let into the tent there are coming out very impressed with it, including Google. And of course, they're only leading this round. There are going to be other investors, the usual suspects probably in Silicon Valley. So we'll be watching this very carefully. And uh, hopefully they'll come out with something really, really cool that uh, we can all use uh, sooner rather than later. But it doesn't sound like it, it sounds like it's going to be later. Sebastian Anthony is at ExtremeTech.com. You can follow him at Mr. Seb. That's M-R-S-E-B. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks, Mike.